Are you wondering to yourself what all new Pokemon are in the Teal Mask DLC? How do I get them and what rewards are there for getting them? If not, I don't know why you clicked on this video, but I appreciate you. Real quick though, don't forget about the 5k sub giveaway coming up so soon. We are less than 500 subs to go. Thank you guys so much. First off, let's get these rewards out of the way. Here's an image up on your screen of everything you'll be getting for how many Pokemon you have registered in your Pokedex. So some pretty decent rewards here. Moving on, going across your screen in the background is going to be every Pokemon that is in the Kitakami Pokedex. So when you spawn into the game, if you have already completed the Pokedex in Paldea, you should have about a hundred Pokemon that you already have of the 200 Pokedex for Kitakami, leaving you with about a hundred to go. The most notable ones are going to be obviously your legendaries, which those you will get just by going through the story. So just keep following along the story and it'll become quite apparent as to where you're going to get those. Also guys, if you don't want spoilers, I would stop watching right now. The reason I say that next up is Ursaluna, not just any, the Blood Moon Ursaluna. So you can get this after registering a hundred 150 Pokemon in your Kitakami Pokedex, which like I said, you should already have a hundred if you did your Pokedex in Paldea. So you've got 50 more to go. And you can find this by talking to a woman named Perrin to the west of the school. After beating her two Pokemon, she'll tell you to go meet her in the timeless woods. After getting some pictures for her and having a chat, you'll go together to find the Blood Moon Beast. This Blood Moon Ursaluna is gonna be quite similar to the way you battle a Titan. You'll have a bunch of HP, and it's not gonna be like regular Pokemon as far as catching it goes. So once you defeat it, you will get the prompt to catch that Pokemon. I think it's also important to mention that this is not an evolution. This is its own separate thing. So it's kind of more like an event Pokemon, I guess. So Ursaluna cannot evolve into Blood Moon Ursaluna. Okay, YouTube is going to hate me for this one, guys. So if you use this tip, please do at least consider liking the video. If not commenting and subscribing, it'd be very appreciated either way. But I'm not a huge believer in trying to show you in a video where you can catch every single Pokemon. I think it's not a good use of your time and it'd be very time consuming on my end too. So there's a really useful tool that you guys should be using for this type of stuff. I'm gonna have the link down below. The reason YouTube's not gonna like me is because it doesn't like when it sends people away from their app. So at least, uh, you know, come back and watch the rest, I guess. But you can go here and you can click on Pokemon items, standard things within the game so you can see where the Scarlet exclusives are, some of the Violet exclusives, and we'll talk about that in a later video. But go here and this will tell you exactly where whatever Pokemon you're looking for is. Go ahead and click on the Pokemon you want to find and it'll show you on the map the areas that it can spawn in. One last thing I wanted to mention, as you're going through and playing the story, if you're wondering, hey, what should I use against the Ogre Pond? Three loyal legendaries. Well, honestly guys, if you already completed Paldea, you could probably just, any of your good fighting Pokemon that are high level is probably gonna do the job. I did not strategize whatsoever and the battles were incredibly easy. Which brings me to my next point. If you guys wanna hear my honest review on the Teal Mask DLC, that video should be popping up on your screen right now. Once again, guys, if you liked the video, if you enjoy my content, please do consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. As always, don't be dull, stay sharp.